So my brother lives in the suburbs, and he asked me to walk his dog. And I don't want to walk his dog, but I love my brother, so I said okay. And he said it's all right because uh, you know you get to meet all the neighbors. And he lives in Havertown. Everybody drives in Havertown. Nobody's walking around the streets. And also, I don't want to like stick my hand in that plastic bag and pick up the you know the warm feces from the dog because I'm either cleaning it up outside or in his house when you know if he doesn't do it outside so all right so he says walk the dog so I'm walking the dog I'm not meeting any neighbors but then I'm passing by this house and the curtains are open or, or shade up whatever the window treatment is they have out there and that's when I saw the, the fat guy masturbating <laughs> So, I'm trying not to look, but it's one of those things where you want to walk quickly, but the dog is, like, resisting. And, Come on. I can't look. And um, I think he was watching the Food Network. So there's some, like, a pot roast or something on the TV. So, this haunts me to this day. So, I got the dog. The dog never crapped, so I don't know. I took it home, and he was... My brother was home later that night, I imagine. He was cleaning it up off the floor. But uh, I talked to him the next day, and I said, uh, didn't meet any neighbors. He said, oh, yeah, well, I got nice neighbors. I said, um, I said, you know, a fat guy with the, you know, the wiry hair? And he's like, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I know that guy. Um, he really loves TV. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was then that I, uh, you know, I said a prayer that, if, uh, if I'm ever watching the Food Network and I get a raging boner, that uh, I at least have the forced thought to close the curtains. So.